Welcome back to Gold Fries. This is the ASRock B660M ITX AC. It's a small board, nothing much to talk about. However, since you're watching this video now, I'm gonna make it worth your time. Now I've tested this board with an Intel Core i9-12900K and I must clarify that this is not a setup or should I say a combo that I would personally use nor would I recommend it to anyone else. This combo is used just because of my curiosity to see how the Intel Core i9-12900K performs on a board like this, especially when it has such a small VRM heatsink. Surprisingly enough, when it comes to gaming, the Core i9 actually works. There's no breakdown. Games like The Division 2 work identically as it would have on a board with better VRM. And then on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, there's about 15% performance drop, and there's more than 25% performance drop in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I didn't compare my numbers with the old database I have. However, that 6900 XT is probably performing like an RX 6800. As for multi-core workloads, it's a no-go simply because with this kind of power phase design and this kind of heatsink, I could start the workload and after a short while, it throttles, the speed will go down to 3 GHz and even down to 2 GHz. So clearly, this is not for you to run multi-core workloads with an Intel Core i9 processor. However, this by no means is calling this product trash because it is not. Like what I said, this pairing is out of my curiosity. It is not a combo, a pair that I wouldn't recommend to people nor would I use it myself because it is illogical. Therefore, how could anyone be saying that this product is trash just because one used this weird combination when, it, when one should not? So yes, this board is not trash because it's not meant to work with an Intel Core i9. In fact, I am surprised that actually it works for the games. It still performs okay on some titles and like what I mentioned, there's some performance drop. So it's still not the ideal combo. After all, you can afford an Intel Core i9. Clearly, you can afford a better motherboard. And so yeah, this board supports an Intel Core i9. That's correct. And that is not misleading. You know why it is said to be supported? Because it's an Intel 600 series chipset. It will support any processor that fits inside and works with what is uh, what has Intel specified. So support just means that you can put the CPU into this one and it can power on. That's it. That is what is called supported. That does not mean it is a recommended pairing. When you pair your CPU with your motherboard, you have to use a bit of your intelligence. Make sure that the system is able to support the performance, the, to support the processor to get the performance that you want. A board like this ASRock B660M ITX AC works great with an Intel Core i5 processor, i3, no doubt it will work. And I dare say you can even put an i7, maybe not the K models for overclocking, but some non-K i7s and you can even uh, adjust the settings in the BIOS for a lower power draw. So yeah, I think it will work. Too bad I do not have any i7 with me. However, I do believe that it will work just fine. So all in all, this is a pretty good board overall. I'm surprised that it actually works with the Intel Core i9-12900K. It costs a little more than the H610 model, but it has higher memory speed support. It has PCIe Gen 4x4 storage support. It has a larger VRM heatsink, and it has front USB Type-C connector. Retailing at below R600, which is about 140 to 150 US dollars range, I think this is a board that's worth your consideration if you intend to have a compact system that's powered by Intel's 12th gen Core i3, i5, or maybe even i7 processors. That's all from me for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful and informative. If you like more of this kind of content, do check out the videos at the side and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.